Okay, this is a fun little project that we're going to build. We started off with a series of footage sequences from a film project shot on an HD camera a while ago. But this material is good for us because it's lightweight and you'll be able to uh, transfer it across the project file FTP from the CMI VFX website really easily. And uh, just to take a quick look at what we're looking at here is we do have our, our final shot as you see over here and if we were to look at where it came from basically that would be sort of this item right here and you can see that there's quite a big difference uh, the actor might look familiar he was in a feature television show in America a long time ago the uh, final shot being like this the reason why I chose this type of project is because some of the newer films out there are using uh, CG generation to do uh, makeup or they're actually using uh, hard cover makeup to create looks similar to this. If you saw Guardians of the Galaxy you might have seen uh, that bl all the blue people and stuff like that. It's not necessary to actually go through all that trouble when we can do this in inside a post fairly quickly. And thanks to Mystica of course you know it's being a color grading system originally uh, it's also a fantastic node based compositor and it's starting to lean more in that direction uh, as time goes on it seems. So we're actually going to use this as the base of operations. Of course you could follow this type of lesson in other compositing apps like Nuke and or Fusion but in this case we're going to do uh, several shots and we want to have this across our timeline of course the user interface for uh, Mystica is really quite nice the same workflow does exist inside of Mamba effects we just do not have our timeline so you'll be doing a shot per shot basis which is fine for us so in order to get started uh, I basically created a simple extraction of the shot. Let's go ahead and get centered here. I'm going to turn off our overview and you can see uh, I'll go ahead and delete this color grade and let's go back to our overview so we can find out where we are. Here we go and this is our shot. So this is basically where we're going to start off with and everything that we change from this point on will be modified from the original image. Now the idea is to use planar tracking to keep all of our masks you know, really tight with the face. If you look at it, the face isn't just moving back and forth, but it is actually twisting a little bit. The uh, twin, or sorry, the chin here, if you look, it actually does come across a little bit, sort of like a rocking boat. And the eye blinks and all these kinds of things. So we have to be uh, very considerate of how that's going to work. Then we're going to add some scars and some blood and stuff like that just for fun so you can see that uh, there are several different ways to attach things without needing uh, object based 3D tracking. We can do this very well inside of planar tracking and it should make you feel quite relieved to do so. Alright so let's go ahead and get started in the next chapter by working on this project.